Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Dr. Muhammad Azrin bin Ahmad and I'm from Center for Mathematical Sciences In this video, we will discuss about the last topic in chapter 1 which is continuity So by the end of this video, you as a student should be able to determine whether the function is continuous or discontinuous Now, I would like to grab your attention by looking at the screen so at the slide presentation that is how we try to relate continuous with our surrounding and if you try to do some searches at google you will see that the following definition is often given to you such as a function is continuous if its graph is a single unbroken curve or maybe if you try to sketch or draw curve or graph if you are able to sketch the, the graph completely without you lifting the pen so that is described as graph which will give you a continuous function so if you look at the slide these two illustration depicts or illustrate situation when the function is continuous and when the function discontinuous so we do give you several more example that illustrate continuous function based on the observation at the respective curve or graph so here are the examples for discontinuous function based on the observation from the given curve or graph but from mathematical point of view we need to have some condition so that we can declare the function is continuous or discontinuous if you look carefully we will call it as the continuity test as what I did based on this notes a function f of x is continuous at a point x is equal to c when they satisfy the following condition which is the first one you are able to find the value of the function at the given point x is equal to c which is defined and followed by the limit of the function when x approaching c exists such as you are able to prove the limit of the function from the left is equal to the limit of the function from the right when x approaching the value c from the right and last but not least you are able to show this expression true such that the limit of the function when x approaching c is equal to the value of the function at x is equal to c now let's take a look at the example in the first example the question asks you to determine the continuity of the function based on the given graph or curve at x is equal to 5 now what we need to do is that in order for us to show the following question is continuous so you should be able to prove that the conditions are true for all three of them so in this case let me write the solution to each and every one of you so according to the continuity test we have to show that the first condition is true such as the function is defined at x is equal to 5 so based on your observation for this particular question when x is equal to 5 you will get the value of y equal to 3 so the function is defined at x is equal to 5 such as f when x is equal to 5 is equal to 
3. Now, what should I do right after this? I have to show that the second condition is true such that the limit of the function when x approaching 5 exists. So in this case, if we recall what we have learned earlier, we should be able to show that the limit of the function when x approaching 5 from the left is equal to the limit of the function when x approaching 5 from the right. In this case, I will get the limit of the function when x approaching 5 from the left according to my understanding. So from the left, I will get the value 5. Not 5, but 3. Uh, excuse me. And then, we have to show that the limit of the function when x approaching 5 from the right is equal to, in this case, I'm going to use this green arrow, then according to my understanding from the beginning of chapter 1, the answer for this question is also 3. Since we are able to show that limit of the function when x approaching 5 from the left, is equal to limit of the function when x approaching 5 from the right is equal to 3 then limit of the function as x approaching 5 exists and the value is 3 now we are able to show that the limit exists and the answer is 3 then what should we do right after this is that we have to show that this expression is true such that the limit of the function when x approaching 5 is equal to the function, the value of the function when x is equal to 5. So in this case, 3 is equal to 3 since all conditions are true therefore the function fx is continuous at x is equal to 5 so basically this is how you solve this question you have to show that the conditions are true for all three of them. Now, let's move to another example. In this example 2, you are given with this graph from the function of f of x and the author asks you to determine the continuity of the function at x is equal to 2. Now, we will continue what we have been doing from example 1 where we have to show that the conditions, the three conditions are true so that we can reach a conclusion the function is continuous. Now, what should I do is that I will go to the conditions one by one. The first condition is the function at x is equal to 2 defined? In this case, the function is defined at x is equal to 4 and you will get this value such as not... Okay, let, let me do some adjustment over here. Okay. Right. So the function is defined at x is equal to 2 which is the value is 4 and now, and now let's proceed to the second condition which is you have to show that the limit of the function when x approaching 4 exists in this case according to the graph that have been provided in this question 
you have to find what is the graph uh, or what is the limit of the function when x approaching 2 from the left so I'm going to use this uh, green arrow, arrow so according to what I have sketched over here I will know that the limit of the function when x approaching 2 from the left is equal to 1 meanwhile the limit of the function when x approaching 2 from the right according to this orange arrow I know for sure the limit of the function when x approaching 2 from the right will also give me value 1 so according to my understanding the limit since, eh, since limit of a function when x approaching 2 from the left is equal to the limit of the function when x approaching 2 from the right which is 1 therefore limit of the function when x approaching 2 exists and the value is 1 now what should I do right after this in order for me to reach a conclusion that the function is continuous I have to prove that the expression is true such as the limit of the function when x approaching 2 is equal to the value of the function when x is equal to 2 in this case uh, it will give us quite different than what we have shown in example 1 in this case 1 is obviously not equal to 4 since limit of the function when x approaching 2 is not equal to the value of the function at x is equal to 2 then you can reach a conclusion that the function is discontinuous discontinuous at x is equal to 2 it's quite easy right if you get the ideas right if you do a lot of exercises by right you should be able to answer this question regardless the graph given to you now let's hop to the next question